I'm Dr. Nicholas Theodore, Professor of Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins University, and going to give a little recap of a presentation that I gave in San Francisco at the Congress of Neurologic Surgeons meeting. I was able to present the first ever study in man of a randomized prospective study looking at cerebrospinal fluid drainage in acute spinal cord injury. To date, we really only have two maneuvers to treat patients with spinal cord injury. The first being decompression of the spinal cord surgically, and the second being elevating the patient's mean arterial pressure to, to improve perfusion of the spinal cord. The reality is that as we do that, there, are, there are, is a lot of evidence to suggest that as we increase mean arterial pressure, intrathecal pressure goes up. So the idea of draining cerebrospinal fluid may actually improve outcomes in our patients by augmenting perfusion of the spinal cord in the acutely injured patient. So in this study, we, we randomized 11 patients and were able to show that we were able to sustain improved intrathecal pressure parameters in the patients that were actively drained and ultimately show that it was safe. While we had significant improvements in several of the patients in both groups, the reality is that we'll need more patients to determine whether or not this is something that would be viable. But the most important take home message is that cerebrospinal fluid drainage was not harmful and hopefully uh, will be an adjunct in the treatment of these patients, but those details will unravel as time goes on. Thank you.